excitement about visiting American President George Bush, a couple of other visiting Americans are actually getting a bit more attention, at least from the younger crowd. Heartthrob Zac Efron and singer Nikki Blonsky are starring in the new movie Hairspray. Well, welcome you two. Now, I believe you flew in, uh, well, Zach, I believe you flew in last night. Yeah. What flight was that? Was that Air Force One? <laughs> no, no, I wish. <laughs> Bush is in another hotel. He keeps calling me. He wants to hang out. But I'm just like, I got things to do, man. You know? People are saying it doesn't make sense. I can't go to dinner with you. I can't go to the club. He asked me to go shopping, and I said, I, I already have a good outfit picked out. I don't, you know, yeah. We don't need to go. And we had to put all these fences up to keep the teenage girls away from you. <laughs> this is the sort of thing we do here, aren't we generous? Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> were you excited when you heard that as part of uh, the whole hairspray thing you were going to get to come to Australia? I was thrilled. I was absolutely thrilled. One of my best friends went when she was younger and she came back and she has been a totally different person ever since. She said it was the greatest place on earth. So I was so excited to come. Nikki, this has been such a great role for you. I saw the show on um, Broadway uh, when it was first opening and I loved it. I couldn't wait till it was made into a film. How old would you have been when that happened though? You wouldn't have been old enough to have dreamt of being in the film, I think. Uh, well, I saw the Broadway show when I was 15. And that was uh, about three years into its run. And I fell in love with it, and then I went back um, and checked the website and said they were auditioning people for the role of Tracy. So at 16, I auditioned for Tracy, and uh, they didn't cast me because I was too young. So at 17, I went back, and I was just determined to play Tracy. I just, something in my heart was telling me, but I just had to play her sometime in my lifetime. And you really had to work at it in six months of auditions? Six months of auditions for the movie. And I think that you should probably, you know, make yourself a big ice cream cone because it's you, honey. You got the part. I literally could not control myself. I gather you two were in place sort of before a lot of the other cast. Am I right about that? Or uh, I think we were. I think they already had Queen Latifah and John Travolta and Michelle. And oh, I have to tell you, you go. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> that'd be nice to yeah, that was one of the big. That was I'm one of the big a couple of them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We were kind of midway cast because I remember getting cast and then they called and they said, "Oh, by the way, we found your on-screen boyfriend." And I said. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? And I remember during my casting, like those months that I was at home, I was watching High School Musical with my brother, and I said, why don't they just get that guy? He's handsome, he's, he's sweet, he can sing, he can dance, he can act. And Adam got on the phone and goes, we found him, and it's the guy from High School Musical. I said, you guys should have called me three months ago. I could have told you that. <laughs> and you figured you could kiss him without too much trouble. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> you could. You, I mean, you're a great actor. It, it, it was. It was. It took a lot. No. I mean, come on. He's the greatest guy in the whole world. So oh, I didn't have to work at, at loving him. <laughs> as a child was huge for my development, you know, and, and it's the only reason that I can carry it to. What are your favorites? Oh, Grease was huge. Sound of Music, um, amazing. Uh, singing in the Rain, every single animated Disney movie. Uh, and it was, it was just having really music. very cool when you're growing up, though, to like all those things. Was that yeah, but, but again, I guess I just wasn't a kid that was worried about cool. I was yeah. like, popping Cinderella, dude, and I watched it every time. I swear to you. And now look. Like, He's a fourth man in the world. <laughs> Very true. Hey, so John Travolta, he's amazing in this film. He plays your mother. Yeah. Did you two guys really pick up some stuff from him doing that, watching him at work? Oh, yes. Well, you know, John's method of working and his dedication to his roles and, you know, the fun that he has on set was just things that I tried to learn from and tried to bring into my you know, playing Tracy and, and me as a person, you know, he's just a wonderful human being. So you could learn a lot from him, A, as an actor, but B, as a human being. Did I? Uh, definitely. Uh, you know, he's just, John's just a cool guy. And he, uh, you know, he's constantly just emitting cool waves. I don't know how he does it. Um, but to be around such a legend and to actually have the chance to talk to him a few times, 
you know, it's something you don't forget. He's been my hero since I can remember. Hey, Tracy, hey, baby, look at us. Is there a team that's happening? Fabulous. Oh, fast now. Uh, I could watch John Travolta do that all day.